Hi guys, Mr. Off Waffles here. In this video, I'll be showing you several new cool little tidbits from Gorod Crovy. There's gameplay related stuff that we'll start off with, like uh, Packer punching the PPSH, for example, using this new crate power gobble gum, which will automatically activate when you take a gun out of the mystery box. It will pack a punch it right off the bat. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use it on the PPSH itself and get myself the Grim Reaper. It's no longer the Reaper. It's the Grim Reaper now. And oh boy, this thing just looks so good when it's pack a punched. Oh my goodness. And you'll see later in the video when I double pap it. Holy guacamole, this is a beautiful weapon. Don't worry though, I won't only be using the Grim Reaper. Yes, I'll be using it a fair amount because it's so damn lovely, but I'll also be Packer Punching the FFAR, and that, when Packer Punched, becomes the Formless Fear, which is interesting because that potentially ties in to the Formless One Will Be Their Downfall Cypher from Shadows of Evil. So, interesting one that. Interesting that there's a potential connection there. Also, just a moment ago, that drill, the green drill that you just saw, was a Groff module, and you need to activate three of those and get parts from three of those in order to get to the Pack-A-Punch area. That's how they work. I'll have a specific video linked in the description explaining exactly how to get to Pap, because it is a somewhat involved process, but anyhow, these things that you're seeing here are the, well, I guess they're the new dog round, as a lot of people suspected, and yes, for those of you that guessed this, you can indeed shoot their arms off, and if you shoot all three of their arms off, they then do a sort of, like, suicide charge towards you and explode, but anyway, yeah, they're a new dog round, pretty standard other than the fact that they're flying instead of walking on four legs. In just a moment, we're going to hear some audio from Sophia. Do you remember the original teaser that they did for this map and they showed us the big robot with the giant sort of metal sphere and the red light on it that somehow is Sophia and so I'm going to stop talking for just a moment so you can hear what she says and then we'll be back for even more cool gameplay let me know if this turns you on I am strategic operations planning heuristic intelligence analyzer Sophia you are not Dr. Maxis security codes are required for further interaction <laughs> Did it just say horistic? So that's Sophia, which is pretty mind boggling in itself. But now we're going to step things up and we're going to actually ride the dragon. Yes, you have to summon it by activating all of the Groff modules. And then you get to this point here. You jump on its back. You're inside the harness and up you go into the air. You ride the dragon to a different area of the map and it's an actual building that you might recognize because it's the same building from the campaign. If you guys have played the Demon Within mission, if you've seen some of my gameplay of that mission as well, you may think that this is a slightly familiar area and that's because it's pretty much the same style of thing. So what happens is you get ejected out of the dragon's harness, you plop down into the house itself, it just splonks you down in there. Splonks? Is that a word? It is now. It splonks you down. There's this thing. Haven't translated this yet, gonna be translating that with Cronorium.com very soon. But this thing is just, I mean, why is it there? I don't know, it's the only bit of Apothecon, or Alien even, like there's no Keeper elsewhere that I saw either. So it's the only bit of Apothecon I saw across the entire map. And I don't really know what its purpose necessarily is. I'm sure there's going to be some depth to it, whether it's storyline information or gameplay related, it's gonna have more to it. Also, here's the gameplay I mentioned at the beginning of the video of me pack a punching the Grim Reaper for the second time. Out pops yet another Grim Reaper, except this time it's green. It looks so damn nice. Oh my goodness, this dragon skin camo is beautiful and you know, Blast Furnace on a PPSH is no bad thing either. Also, there's this trap in here, which kind of knocks the zombies away. For some reason, it went through the zombie on that first one. But other than that, it seems to work fairly effectively. And in just a moment, you'll see me essentially ripping through as many zombies as I can in this last few moments of the video. So thank you so much for watching. I have been Mr. Ruffle Waffles. If you've enjoyed this early access gameplay of Gorod Crovy, smash the like button. That would be fantastic. And let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. I'll be posting Easter egg guides and stuff as soon as I possibly can. So look forward to those and I'll see you very soon in another Gorod Crovy video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.